Welcome to a Pirate Gaming Special from GDC Europe 2011. Usually we would broadcast our podcasts in German, but the topic we're covering today aroused quite some international interest. So we thought we'd stick with English this time. A small Australian company called Euclidean got quite some attention recently for their claim of having developed an unlimited detail technology, as they call it. After very skeptical reactions to the first video about a year back, Euclidean invited a journalist to visit their offices in order to show that the entire project was not scam, but in fact existed. Their live demo was still responded to with skeptical remarks from the developer of Minecraft and various others. And as it happened last time, many thought that a Euclidean would vanish from the public for another year after this, this latest release. To our surprise though, we met Bruce Dell in person at GDC Europe in Cologne and could get our hands at some new material that showcases the technology. We were also able to play through the demo that you've already seen on a laptop and it runs perfectly smooth. While the tech demo was really just a proof of concept without any visual polish and a grainy noise when flying through the scene, the technology seems to shine when it comes to details. In this screenshot, you see a comparison between the current AAA graphics and Euclidean's engine. It showcases the problem with low-poly environments and texture resolutions very well. If you encounter a broad vista, things usually look great. As soon as you close up to objects, though, at some point you reach a state where things start looking less nice. On this screenshot, the tree on the left doesn't look so AAA in the direct comparison despite the fact that it's a screenshot from Crisis 2 in the highest level of detail. The shot on the right represents a laser-scanned tree rendered inside Euclidean's engine and looks close to photorealistic. Looking at it, the technology could not only be interesting for games but for CGI in movies as well. In the last demo, viewers criticized the lack of shadows in the scene. This little tech demo showcases the, the different types of shadows with mixed geometry. The trunk and the tar are both dot cloud objects, while the rest consists of polygons. As you can see, all objects cast and receive shadows, and self-shadowing is working as well. There is no smoothing or filtering in this showcase, which makes the shadows look blocky. But it does show the compatibility between classic lighting techniques and the unlimited detail technology. While we don't have any other new material to showcase, we asked Bruce Dell some questions that came up as a response to the last video, including memory and GPU requirements and animation. Stay tuned as we will soon release the interview in our next podcast. <laughs>